Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. You can visit my website, thebiodude.com. Visit my store here in Houston, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Subscribe to me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube. And today I have a very special guest with me. And I have, a, it almost feels like Christmas. Below me I have a box from cages.com with the owner, Zach of Cages. Hi. I'm Zach with ReptileCages.com. Uh, we do tons of custom enclosures. We do tons of standard enclosures. We pretty much do just about anything within reason as far as enclosures go. Awesome. And what we have in this box is one of his specialty PVC enclosures, which he sent me. This size enclosure is four feet by two, two feet, feet by, by two, two feet. feet. Yep. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you, A, how the box is packaged, what you can expect when you Definitely. order a cage from the biodude.com, yep. and of course, how to actually put it together so you guys can see how easy it is. Let's get started. Perfect. So your package is going to come just like this. Packaging paper, all this. It's all recycled paper. It's going to come in foam and saran wrap and a bunch of stuff you need to cut through be very careful cutting through we don't want you to cut into the enclosure or any of the fixtures or anything else in there um, just because you know, there's electronics cords in here material stuff you don't want to cut through you know steering will be really mindful of that it's packaged really well we use corner protectors everywhere um, you know it takes a little bit to cut into it just because you know, we try to make sure everything arrives where it's supposed to be going safely. Yep, and, you know, we and do our best. Yep, and these boxes they're shipped out of Minnesota. Yep. They will not be shipping from the BioDude nope. Houston. Uh, they'll be shipping right from Minnesota, and they will be shipped via UPS. Yep. This is so a that they can uh, you know provide you reasonable rates for these mega cages. Oh, definitely. Um, as well as make sure that we give you um, you know again making it affordable and, really and really great customer service. Yes. You know. UPS does a pretty good job of, of making sure our packages arrive safely um, and intact. You know, they, they do the best they can do as far as shipping those. You know, they have a lot of boxes to move every day. You know, and here we're kind of getting into the top now. Nice. So there's a little more corner protectors. There's two ceramic fixtures here, one in the center and one on the left, I believe. Nope, right. We got a little blue thing here that has a bunch of goodies in it. Oh yeah, which I'll show you guys after we get everything Here's out. The sides, extra vents, very nice, luxurious vents. Other side. Here is the abrasion-resistant polycarbonate. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it won't scratch. It means resistance. Yes. Which doesn't mean proof. Like. Yes. Just like your phone. If it says water-resistant, don't go swimming with it. Yep. That's exactly right. Okay. All right. Here's the back. So this is actually the first piece we're going to start with. I believe. Nice. The back. And then the bottom. And you can see the back here. It's all you can labeled. tell what the top is of the vents being on the top, and it has these little divots here. Now these divots and these holes are to make sure that cords can be safely put here, yep. so that way they're not being pinched, causing a fire hazard. Yep, exactly. So actually, we're gonna start with the back and the bottom. Okay. So we'll come around here. Move so that let stuff me get this stuff bit. out of the way. We're gonna have to go into this green pouch here. Get some screws out. So the screen pouch comes with everything you need for the enclosure. It comes with some, some questionnaire cards, you know, leave us a review, share a photo. Hole covers to cover all the screws, you'll see those at the end. Um, instructions, silicone, screws, and that's it. So the instructions are pretty easy. Um, we we'll probably just throw these up on the screen so you kind of have an idea when you're going through it how to kind of build it. Um, it's not there's not really that much to it. It's actually a lot easier than it seems. It's just like if you've ever built a piece of pre-ordered furniture from yep. an unnamed company in <laughs> Sweden, yep. it's very similar. Um, you know, we don't have the cam locks they do. 
And uh, so I we're using a power drill. Yep, yep. So yeah, I'm lazy. I'm not going to use a screwdriver. I don't use one. I have a few drills um, that I use on a daily basis, okay. I would say. I also have a magnetic bit, so it makes my life a little easier. Yep. So if you want to hold that, like here. I'm going to start the screw here. So, like, it, it helps, I guess, it's all up to personal preference. If you want to have a friend there to help you assemble it, it makes it go a little quicker, it's a little bit more fun. Um, but it can also be done on its own. And it can also be a good bonding experience for you and your kids. Oh, definitely. Um, because you and your kids can put together, you know, your new enclosure for an animal that they are really excited to have and get excited to take care of it. And that's really, well, that's really the best way to get kids involved is to get them excited about what it is that they're oh, doing. Oh, definitely. Um, and I think this is something that can it's fun. really help with that. It's yeah. just like a large erector set. Yep. So you can use a normal Phillips head screwdriver as yep. well. Oh, definitely. It, it just, just takes, takes a little, little longer. longer. And your wrist okay. is going to get sore. Now, do you silicone each piece at the end or yep, as at you the end. Okay. At the end, I do, personally. Okay. And, you know, honestly, I mean, like for all bioactive stuff, silicone is super important. Yes. You have to do it. And, and so know. after we apply the silicone, how long do we have to wait? So that you can refer to the manufacturer's instructions on the back okay. of the silicone package. Okay. I believe it's 48 hours, Okay. but you could just double check and make sure. Yep. But you obviously, that's for aquariums, you know, so it's aquarium safe. Fish are a little bit more sensitive than reptiles, but I, like me personally, I don't put anything in there if I can still smell the silicone. That's a great tool right there. If you yep. still smell it, you gotta wait. Yep, that's right. Yep. So right. flip this around. I'm gonna try okay. to get the top on. So I'm actually gonna put one screw here. I want to undo this cord. Yep, and we're gonna show you how we kind of how we have these go through. Yeah. So they just slip right through these little notches. That way your cord just goes right in there. It's up, stored safely out of the way. It doesn't pinch in the material. It works out really good. Otherwise, like you could run into potential problems, you know, uh, with drilling through the cord, pinching it. That would not be good. No. Drilling through the cord. No. I don't know what that was. It's okay. Awesome. You're good. The boy bobblehead. Yeah. Okay. I, so I want to s s slip this cord through without. Uh, I'm gonna lift it up towards me. Slip it right on through. Make it tight. Don't and then, and then once in a while, so we get customers asking us, "Well, my doors don't line up properly." I get this question all the time. So 99% of the time, it is the weight and the 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 weight of the enclosure with the substrate and the surface it is sitting on. So you can have a thousand pound shelf and think that it's good for a thousand pounds, which it would be at the corners. However, directly in the set center of an eight foot, 1000 pound shelf, you're gonna have some type of, well, yeah, some type of uh, deviation from, you know, what it should be. So if your doors are out of square, check your surface. Okay. And because all our doors, everything is cut square, everything goes out square. Okay. So it's either assembly Something a step was done wrong, or it could possibly be um, the shelf. Because okay. I mean, there's gonna be a substantial amount of weight in there when they're bioactive. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Right. Especially if they're using like like a lot of Sahara, because yeah, that's yeah. the big thing with these cages, guys. You know, when I get these kits together, some of them, some of them are gonna need to have, um, uh, you know. 70 to 150 pounds of substrate in here at oh, yeah. least oh, yeah. so it's going to be one of those things that we need to make sure that we are you know taking care of that we you know take care of that even surface to yeah and we're being responsible yes otherwise you know yeah. it's it's not up to you know manufacturers to I can't think of everything. I can't make sure everything is done. I'm just gonna leave those two screws on. Oh, okay. okay. It doesn't really want to go together, and that's just because of the cord right now. I understand. So we'll uh, throw we'll the sides in. If you want to grab three, okay. D3, that'll be this side. So D3, you guys yep. can see. It has vents and then a groove towards the front. This would be the right side. So on the right side, the, the door groove is, is a little bit uh, closer to the front compared to 
the left side, which would be further back, to allow the doors to nest. So. I love how easy this is. It's as simple as lining up the holes and screwing it in. Yeah. It's very easy. And you know that, and that's and that's why I'm so impressed with Zach's company. Because he's one of the first people that I know of to be able to have this be available for anybody to be able to give their reptiles the proper sized enclosure because there are so few available oh, um, on the market and I'm, I can't express how excited I am to be able to well, there was such a void. There was such a void in the market and I, I, so how I started the business was I needed an enclosure for Bearded Dragon and I had done woodworking as a hobby for uh, a large part of my life, you know, outside of work, I built furniture, things like that, that I enjoy doing. Okay. And when I couldn't find an enclosure available online, I decided, well, I have the tools available to me and I know how to woodwork, and I can build my own. So I started, and I built wood, you know, melamine enclosures to start with, with yep. oak trim and all that. They look really nice. I remember the melamine. Yep. Heavy. Yep. Very heavy. Very heavy. Very heavy. heavy. Especially heavy. when I offer tile floors. Yeah. Oh ago. my goodness. So, you know, you'd have a three quarter inch melamine enclosure yep. with a tile floor that weighed, you know, 7,000 pounds. I'd have to Ooh. have a crane come in to move it. Um, but, you know, that kind of opened the door for PVC. Let's throw the other side in. That actually goes inside in this way. Bingo. Um, opened the door for PVC. I saw what a great material it is and what kind of cost savings you have with electricity alone yep. when working with a, a a material that has air pockets in it that allows it to insulate, which also, you know, it helps in your reptile room. It helps with just everything, you know, if you have a reptile room or whatever you have in your house. Um, and, and, and really, it came down to three years ago, my wife uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it was, we, we were both really scared, and it was like, well, let's, let's, enjoy life a little bit. Why am I working for someone else when I have other things going for myself? Yep. And it was a very, you know, we had a lot of fun. Um, if that can even be said about cancer, um, it brought us a lot closer together, I think. And it definitely uh, gave us a different lease on life, a different outlook on mm -hmm. what would I rather be doing, making less money working for myself or making more working for somebody else and not enjoying my life. That's exactly how I felt. I, I was a veterinary technician for nine years before I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And, yep. And you know, it's, it's a lot more stressful being an entrepreneur. Yep. That oh, yeah. Sure. It's nonstop. And, and people really don't understand huh. that when they're they're trying to take advantage of an entrepreneur or someone like you or me. Yep. They're not just hurting us. They're hurting families. They're taking away kids' Christmas presents. They're, they're really, it's really unfortunate, you know, when, you, when you're really getting into it. Yeah. That's just how it, it's how it is. That's the nature of the beast. So, quick question for you. Yeah. So, I see we got a bunch of screws oh, here. A whole Do, bunch left. Uh, so, so there's always extra screws included. Three. Yep. Three extra yep. screws included. I'm not going to get four. Okay. You just need three. Now, right. do we need to move it so it's fixed? Yeah, let's flip it up. And I'm going to put, first, I'm going to put these couple screws. I'm going to get them where I want them. Okay. Because this one I don't want here at all. So, I'm actually going to reach my arm on the inside. Oh, I can do it if you need me. Okay, to. yeah, if you push out a little bit there. There we go. One more in, and we'll be good on the back. Nice. All right, so we got that. Now we can spin it. Nice and forwards. Yes. Like and then I'll move these as well. Yep, yep. This one out. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to put actually, the, let's tip it back. I'm, I don't really want to lay on the floor and put it in the front door. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to thread these in by hand a little bit. So when I'm holding up a seven inch doorboard, I don't have to worry about uh, dropping it or trying to put a screw in the drill chuck or anything like that. It just goes a little bit more smoothly. And also, for those of you who don't, yes, I'm missing part of my thumb. It did happen building an enclosure. I didn't I, even notice. Yep, and I still sent it out the next day. That's, yep. that is commitment. Yep. Commitment. So you can see here the piece he's putting in has the tracking yep. here at the top. So and this is what the actually pieces go into. Awesome. It just slips right out. 
all the holes line up, screws in really easy. Makes it so all the tracks line up with the sides, so the doors are recessed, so for your bioactive stuff, you don't have any escapees. Easy that is. Super. I can do it. <laughs> Anybody. 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 Nice. I love how quickly this is coming together. Yeah, it's really quick. All right, and then we'll throw, we'll tip it up now. Okay. We'll in, uh, nice. They're light too. I think it only weighs about 55 pounds. So yeah. We'll, we'll put in the polycarbonate abrasion resistant doors, which are. All right, labeled. We have F and then L and R, and then L or E and L and R. So what I would suggest is taking off the the protective film before you put them in. Otherwise, uh, they're gonna get it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get them off. It, it can be done, but I mean I don't know how much time you want to devote to something <laughs> um, peeling off plastic. I know I don't really want to develop that much myself personally, so let's seal it up first. Let's slip that in. We'll do the right door. Now, once you put these doors in, okay. the only way to take them out is pull off the door. Is door. by pulling off yep. the pulling off the top. Yep. Okay. And so, realistically, I get asked by, by a lot of people, why don't I make it so the doors can nest up and then come out? Add a cost. That's why I don't do it. Okay. I have to add a cost for that. I have to run a whole other set up for it. That makes I'm not going to switch bits all the time, like add it down. So keep our costs where they are. You know, like realistically, any person can take out seven screws. It takes, you know, once That's you do the skull time, it takes just, just a couple minutes, like, you know. And for as many times as you'll have your doors out, which after the initial setup, I would think would be probably zero. Okay. You know. Awesome. And now, like the other cage that we talked about for the blue tungsten, this enclosure also offers that extended substrate lip, as you can see. So the seven-inch substrate lip is right here. So again, this is really good for your burrowing out, um, things like that. And this enclosure, um, it will most likely be used for juvenile Aki's monitors. Um, that that they'll be in here for probably about eight months, and then after they outgrow it, they'll be put into their permanent. You know, very super large enclosure with the 18 to 20 inches of substrate that they need. Okay. And one thing I will be offering here at the biodude.com is little handles that oh, you can nice. put on here. So you literally 3M the back, you stick it right on there and it gives you the handle to be able to move everything. That makes it a lot easier. Yep, it does make it yep, a lot yep, easier. Yep, yep. Um, and we're also making, I'm working on a, on a pick with a 3D printer that will allow you to literally Same put it in here and get the clear out the door tray a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Because at times substrate can get cut, can get caught in here and it can be a little bit more of a challenge to get your doors oh, all the way. Oh, it definitely will get stuck all the, in there yeah, eventually. Yeah, all like, the way cut, all the way shut. So this just gives you one more of an ability to be able to make sure that that doesn't happen. And pretty much, I love it. I love yeah. how this yeah. looks. Yeah, it's super easy. You know, I don't ever, I mean, I build them, but I don't build them with screw holes in them already. You know, that's when true. When I'm building them, I'm putting the screw holes in. The center brace is a little tricky in this one. Yeah, because you have to go. Nice. Okay. And just a couple more on your side, and then a few in the back, and that's up. And then what I guess what I'll work on is start getting the black dots. Oh, definitely. Put onto the. Uh, over. Right over here. There. So as you can see, the black dots here, really easy. We just take them, and you can see here, you put them right on top. They blend right in, so that way you're not seeing screws. And if you're like, oh wait, I need to take this screw out, Pop the cover off. pops right off, and you can put it right back on. Yep. Easy, easy, easy. And then the only other step that was gonna be necessary for this enclosure that we are not going to show you, mainly just because of how 
dark it is, it's gonna be hard for you to see is the siliconing process. But it is very, very important that you make sure that every bottom corner, that every bottom piece is sealed. Because as your bioactive substrate matures and humidity builds up, you do not want any semblance of water leaking out of here. Not only can that you know ruin your furniture that you have this on top yep. of, but you just don't want p pools of water leaking out of your cage under any circumstances. Oh. So that's something that we definitely want to be cognizant to, you know, when we are siliconing. Um, Another thing that I'll add when you silicone, like if it's me personally, if I'm doing silicone, I don't have the doors in yet before I'm silicone. Okay. I'm making it easy on myself. Okay. So then if I want to do the top doorboard, the last thing I have to do is put in a doorboard and run one bead of silicone versus work around uh, two work doors around the entire else. time. And then maybe get silicone on the doors and it that makes, makes a mess. makes perfect sense, you know. Perfect sense. That's just me, but I think that's all I would see as people do it. And yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just going through here and putting all these tags on to cover it up. And you know, you, you can tell that they're there. Oh, definitely. But it's one of those things that it's really easy to cover up. Yep. And it just from a distance makes it look a little nicer. Yep. Yep. And I'm really happy this cage turned out really yep. good. Yep. Yep. So as you guys can see, how easy it is to put one of these bad boys together and just how efficient and how much space it gives you. Um, I can't tell you how how excited I am to be able to offer these on I'm very excited too. Yeah, I'm definitely very excited. I've used your products for years and years, years before I even knew who I was. That's I'm insane. I love it. it. Yep. Well, guys, like I said, my name's, my name's Josh Halter. I'm the owner and founder of the BioDude. Visit my website, BioDude.com. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Yep. I'm Zach, owner of Cages. Check us out online at reptilecages.com. Follow us on Instagram if you want. If or you Facebook. Want. Yeah. I don't care. I don't go on Facebook, so follow me on Instagram. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for all the support, guys. Do the bides.